Germany, I think, could very well win the Euros chat. Like, very well. I know it was Scotland, no offense, my Scottish friends. They have Neuer. Neuer starts, sure. But then they have Ter Stegen and Bowman, which both are, like, good goalkeepers, too. You know? Hola, mi nina. Uh, Rudiger, Rom, Ta, Kimmich. Rom didn't play today. Otterbeck. Henry's blah, 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 blah. Cruz Musiala. Like, they're stacked. They're stacked. Like, that's a, a really strong, strong German side. You guys, Switzerland could be a dark horse, to be honest. Look at Switzerland, chat. They could be really a dark horse. Jan Sommer, Koble, who has been in great form, Alvedi, Akanji, Shar, Zakaria, Granit Xhaka, <laughs> Mbolo. Hasn't Okafor been, like, decent also? Like, they could be... About, the thing about tournaments like this, chat, is, like, anything literally can happen. Italy was another one that we looked at the other day that, like, Merritt, Vicario, Donnarumma, Di Lorenzo, DeMarco, Buongiorno, Darmian, Belnova, Mancini, Bastoni, Cambiasso, you know what I mean? Jorginho, Pellegrini, Barella, Arsidori, Chiesa, Hellshaw is so funny. Yeah. All right, so I think Germany will be here for sure. I think it'll go like this. To be honest. Mm -mm. Maybe that. Facts. They are definitely way tighter. But it's like... When playstyles don't... It's like Chelsea. You sign a bunch of players that might all be friends. But like when playstyles don't go together. There's no like... There's no like... System. This is what I'm thinking. Germany. Switzerland. Hungary. Scotland. Hungary above Switzerland? I don't know. I feel like Switzerland is pretty stacked. Group B. Call me crazy, but I think that will happen. This is a toss-up. It could be this. Or it could be that. But I think it might be that. I don't think they have the squad depth to really do much. I agree, but then also, like, they have some new players, too. Look. Mm. Italy, Xanash, Croatia, all the either. I think Croatia, I don't know. Like, decent goalkeeper. Guardiol. Kovacic, Modric, Brozovic, like, they're all players that are doing. Budimir does well in La Liga. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't think, I don't think Spain tops the group. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, individually, the Spanish players are good, but I just don't think, I think they lack squad depth look where is it where is it where is it Spain. they got rodri yeah but that's not enough that's not enough you guys you have to remember that rodri plays in a system rodri plays in pep system but individually like we'll see we'll see and spain as of late struggles a little bit and it's because, like, when you take players out of systems, they're not as impactful. You know? This is this thing, Alice. I agree. I agree. That's true, JS. That is true about Mandzukic and Rakitic. Spain defense is mid as fuck. This is what I'm saying. I don't... Personally, I don't th actually think Spain are better than Italy. I just think... More Spanish players play in the Premier League, so people know more Spanish players, so people just think that automatically Spanish. But, like, like Italy's pretty stacked. Italy's pretty stacked. Spain's goalkeepers, decent. Decent. 
Carvajal, good. Nacho, good. They both just played. Grimaldo, also good. Laporte, could be. I haven't watched him as late since he's been in Saudi. But, like, Carvajal, I think, will be impactful. His, he's also in really good form. What's up, Ducky? How are you? Um, I think Nacho deserves the call-up, and I think that he'll perform well. But I think... Spain's defense is better than it's been. There's no Eric fucking Garcia. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, midfield, decent, decent. Rodri, um, Marino's been in good form. Fabian Ruiz, Diana is mid, so mid. Nico Williams, for sure. Zvendi Pedri. If Pedri shows up, great. He's also been injured. He's also just come back from injury. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> Do you know what I mean? Report was it? Yeah, yeah. At one point. At one point. <coughs> at one point, and then he went to Saudi. You know? In Spain, Carvajal doesn't have Fetty's backup. True. True. That is true. But still, I think he's gonna... Like, they're decent, but again... Honestly, you guys, I think Spain's attack is, like, super mid. Yamal... I mean, Jose Lu, of course, but Jose Lu's not going to be the guy that carries the team. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that Jose Lu will be an impactful player, just like Morata. Like, both of those players will be impactful. But, like, those aren't players that start and, like, carry. Carry. Do you know what I mean? Almo does cook for Spain, and he did in the Euros, the last Euros as well. So I'm sure he'll do well. Ferran Torres is so mid. Yamal will also carry. Like, it'll be an attack of Yamin Lamal, basically. Do you know what I mean? Fermin Lopez, so mid. Jesus Navas is a forward for Spain? Or is he, like, a, a, a wingback? <laughs> because last I thought he was a wingback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? 38 years old, by the way. Anyways, super mid. Like, these three plus Yamal... I think will be. So anyway, I think there's like, there's some names, but I just don't think they're, I just don't, I just think it's mid. I think they're mid, to be honest. Italy though, chat, look, I know we just looked at this, but like Donnarumma, Donnarumma actually is mid, to be honest, but he's decent, whatever. Di Lorenzo has been in good form, like defensively, they're, they're okay. Uh, Their midfield is pretty good. You've got experience. They've all played in a tournament like this before. Do you know what I mean? Like they've all played in the Euro the last Euros that they are most of them have um attack same thing. Like there's This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like Italy I think could be I think people because they didn't play in the World Cup, people have them as underdogs, but they also won the last Euros, you know? So I don't know. I actually think it'll be this or it'll be this. I think Spain will might might creep through, but if they creep through, then they're out in the round of 16. You know? That's my opinion. This should be this. I would say. I for I know. I literally forgot <laughs> I forgot he existed. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Three teams. Yeah, yeah, it depends. This, I think, is... For decade. Yeah, yeah, facts. Facts. Uh, this should probably be this. But then again, I want to look up Austria's group, or Austria's squad. Because Alaba, I don't think, is playing. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of meh. Lamar, Sabitzer, Rule, Arnie, Byron. Oh, really? I didn't know that, chat. I didn't know Reinick was the, the manager of Austria. That's funny. I I just don't think 
I think they look good, but I think when you put, put them next to, like, a, a France, I just don't think they're... You guys, France is insane. He turned on Byron to stay. Oh, that's kind of cute. I think it's probably this. Or maybe that, but I think likely it's that. Portugal winning it? I hope so. Um, Again, it sh I think it'll be... Either, I think, one and two, Belgium, Ukraine. I think three and four are somewhere around there. Let's look at Denmark. Um... Anderson, Whistler, and Cure, Melee, Christensen, Christensen, da, 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 Delaney, Erickson. They're definitely aging. Hoyland, Damsgaard, Polson. They're aging, but I think that still, they still have that, like, I don't think they're quite dark horses anymore, but I think they still have that dark horse aura. Do you know what I mean? Romania is decent. I'm not playing the fantasy now. I think Ukraine will be a dark horse. I do think Ukraine will be a dark horse. I think it'll probably be this. Then, Portugal will top the group. You know, I think that might happen. I think it'll be like this. Georgia, I, unfortunately, I think will be bottom. But I, I, I'm a little bit biased here because I love Arta to be, to be through. And he'll for sure, like, he'll start every game for Tur for Turkey. You know what I mean? But, your attorney general and discard, what a time. I forgot about that. I should go back and, and look. But look, chat. So, like, them are all, like, names. Names, names. Do you know what I mean? Even, like, their attack is pretty stacked. Do you know what I mean? Turkey plays two games in Dortmund. I want Arda... Right? I want Arda... So badly. But, like, their attack is pretty... Stacked. So I think it's like that. I think Portugal, Turkey, Czech. Let me just see Czech real quick. I did see the new Dortmund manager. It's crazy. I saw a tweet the other day, you guys, yesterday that said like, I'm so old or like I'm getting so old that the players I used to watch are now managing squads. Like company at Bayern, company at Burnley, company at Bayern. You know what I mean? Georgia qualified for it. I definitely think like Georgia, the thing is, you can't fully judge a team based on the qualifying. Do you know what I mean? For example, like, I get that they played against... It's different with World Cup qualifiers because you go from qualifying in a... In a... In a... What's the word? In a... Like a geographical location to them playing against team like Canada, for example. We qualified against CONCACAF teams and then went on to play against Belgium, Croatia, Morocco. You know what I mean? Like, it's not quite the same, but qualifiers are very, very different than the actual tournament. Like, and literally anything can happen, especially when, like, you're playing... Tournament football is crazy for that reason, and that's why sometimes... That's why there are, there are always surprises. Do you know what I mean? So, like, yes, Georgia, in their qualifying games against maybe, I don't know who they played, but Luxembourg or whoever, played really well, they came second, whatever. But then when you go up in a tournament in a, a tournament that they've not played in, not just Georgia, I mean any any team, that they've not played in or not played in in a while, you lack the experience, you lack the the composure, you lack... Sometimes it's just skill. You go up a stacked against a stacked team like France, like, there's only so much... You know what I mean? San Marino or Gibraltar. Yeah, exactly. That's because they had to sack a minute. Also that. 
Also that. Albania fished for a check second pulled third. Remember seeing him in the World Cup and now he's almost retired. I know, it's crazy that he's not even starting these games anymore. But also, you guys, things can change in an instant. Like, you get a, a team gets a red card, a team gets an injury, a team gets a penalty. Like, it could be nil-nil. Like, a team like Georgia, for example, could go up against a team like, who else is in their group? Portugal, right? They could defend for their fucking lives. Like, defend, 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 five at the back, like, park the bus. And then, boom, Georgia gets a penalty, one nothing. Georgia. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, things, one or two games, depending on, on where it is in the, in the tournament, like, if you have to just hold on for one game and then are able to get a pen, that's it. Then you're through and the other team's out. And that's, that's the, the best and the worst thing about tournament football, you know? Also helped us immediately. Yeah, facts. Facts, it was. Anyway, so this is my this is my prediction. This is my prediction. And then from these, I think it should probably be I don't know, chat. This maybe? What do you think? I'm gonna go with that. I just don't think I don't think Hungary and Romania have the depth. Play running on the team is Yeah, I I agree. Yes, I agree. That's how Greece won the Euros. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I think that Hungary and Romania are probably good, but I just don't think they're good enough. You know. All right. Italy, Czech Republic. I think that one's obvious. Germany did. I was gonna say Denmark. Denmark, I also think that's obvious. Uh, this will be a good game. We had this game in the Euros in in 2020. No? Was that in the World Cup or in the Euros? Was that World Cup 2018 or Euros 2020 when Ronaldo scored the, the game-winning goal against Spain? Was it game-winning? It was, wasn't it? World Cup, yeah. Anyway, World Cup 2018 after World Cup. No, I think I think CR7, like, COC starts. They tied. They were losing, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he needs to run. I don't think he needs to run the whole game. And I think he can. I still think he's he's in, like, stupid form in, in Saudi. Uh, You know, call me crazy. What do you see here? Like, the obvious choice is Netherlands. The obvious choice is Netherlands. Netherlands should go through here. However, I could see this happening. I could, I could see this happening. I think there's a really good chance that Ronaldo, that Portugal win the Euros. It's hard to predict. It's really hard to predict. Chat, what do we think? Do we think... They never have chemistry. Who? Netherlands? I don't know. I really think that Ukraine can do something. They have, like, not all of their players are good. But I think they have very strong players in every position. I'm going to go Ukraine. For the... For the they're under yeah that's also true for the lels i'm going ukraine i'm half ukrainian chat so i have to go ukraine um belgium i think this is sad this is sad because i'd want turkey to go through but i think it'll be that this should be very obviously this this could be a toss-up they're gonna start singing what this song I just don't think, no offense, Don, I think it's the same kind of situation. I think they have players, but I just don't think they play together well at the moment. You know what I mean? Like, they have names. They have the names. They should, Belgium. They have the names. They should do well. I think defensively, <laughs> their midfield is good. Like, he is a promising talent. 
Decent. Good, 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 good. Good when he's in form. Oops. Oops. Bone and shit in the World Cup. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, they have good players in positions. But, like... Cat steals probably is in goal, I would say, for Belgium. I would say it'll be Castiles. This is what, Don, this is the thing. And I think that's the, I think Belgium's midfield is decent. Like, I think their attack is also decent. You know what I mean? Doku, Openda, especially Krasko, Lukaku, Bakayoko. Bakayoko, is this a, this is a different Bakayoko, right? Because there's no way Bakayoko is only 21. Like, the Bakayoko. A new one. Okay, 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 okay. Goalkeeping does look good, yeah. So I think, like, offensively, he's good. Okay. So, yeah, offensively, I think they're good. Midfield, I think they're good. I think they'll struggle defensively because they don't really have... Munier's injured, yeah. So, <laughs> like, they really don't... You're right, Don. One, one injury and that's it. So it could very well be Serbia. Who does Serbia have? Uh... They'll stick Vitzel in defense. Probably. They probably will. Uh, Serbia. Luka Jovic. Uh, Illich. Milenkovic, Savic. Vlaovic. Jovic. Mitrovic. Tadic. Kostic. You know, offensively... But has no pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Offensively, they have names. Definitely. And maybe a couple in midfield. It's the same thing. Defensively, meh. What do we think about this? I'm gonna... Because I want to back my boy. He plays Alico, but with center backs, we play... Yeah, facts. Facts. Um, okay. Italy, Germany. I think Germany goes through here. Or they should. Portugal, Ukraine. I think Portugal goes through here. Belgium, France. Unfortunately, I think France. This is what should happen. I think Croatia could go through. I think Croatia could go through. Um, In the final... Oh! I can't do Montenegro. You think Poland will finish last? I don't want to do that one yet. France. It'll be France, Portugal, or France, Germany in the final. And that's my prediction. I don't know. It's hard. It's this is a predict. I feel a little bit biased because now I've seen I've seen Germany play today. Do you know what I mean? I've seen Germany play today, so I have a little bit of unfair bias. But I'm conflicted because I want Ronaldo to win a year another Euros, but I want Tony Cruz to win Euros as well. And that will complete his resume. And if Tony Cruz wins the Euros, you guys, he might actually win the Ballon d'Or. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I really... I'm conflicted. What are we thinking? Germany, France, or Portugal, France? Let's be unbiased, okay? Portugal also has, like, hella names. Like, Portugal has names, names. They're also very stacked. And they they have, like, they have, they have nostalgia tax. You know what I mean? Like, players are going to be playing all out because it's Ronaldo's last Euros. Ronaldo's going to be playing all out because it's his last Euros. Do you know what I mean? He wants to prove to everyone that he's still, like, I think there's that tax. But then, like, goalkeepers alone. Patricio, Jose Sa, Diogo Costa. Like, one gets injured, cool. The next one is a starting goalkeeper. Boom, boom, boom. Easy, you know? Tomato, yeah, but Pepe, Ruben Diaz, Dallo, Nuno Mendes, Cancelo. Like, Tomato's not starting, of course. Dallo will start, Cancelo will start with Ruben Diaz and Pepe, is what I'm assuming. Um, So defensively, they're strong. Pepe 41 is so crazy, by the way. Midfield, Bruno Fernandes, Paulinha, Bernardo, Bernardo Silva, Danilo, meh. 
uh, Mateus Nunez, Joao Neves, Ruben Neves, Vitinha, Pedro Neto. Like, these two are good and underrated. Underrated. The, like, do you know what I mean? Stacked. It's the same thing. You take one off, you put another one on, you're not losing. Like, the depth that Portugal have are a lot. Forwards, Ronaldo, Ancala Ramos, Joao Felix, Leao, Jota. The thing with Portugal in the past is their cohesion. Yeah, it has to be. Pepe Diaz, yeah. Their cohesion is not always the best, despite, like, they've had a lot of these players for a long time. They've had Leao, Jota, Felix, Ronaldo. Like, I don't know if Vitinha's played for the national team for a very long time, but they've had, like, Bruno, Bernardo Silva, Cancelo, Ruben Di Like, they've had names. And they struggled in previous years, like, as of late. You know? I don't think they start, like, oh, to be Jota, Felix, maybe Bernardo, right wing. I think Bernardo starts. I do think um, Leal starts. I think he's too in form right now to start. Unless Martinez, that's also true. That's also true. Cancelo, Finn, yeah, it could be. But Germany, I don't know. Like, if they keep going like they went today, again, like I said, it might be some unfair bias, but I also, I think, I love Ronaldo to win a Euros, and I think it could really go either way. But I'll put Germany just because, <clears throat> just because... <laughs> Why <are you> so <laughs> Sorry. I'll put Germany just because I think you guys are right. I think that they have way more cohesion. A lot of them, like have played together for a long time. They're playing in at home. Like, I think it'll be Germany, France. But then, chat, but then Germany or France. On paper, like France, COC, no? But, like, it was leaked uh, today that Deschamps not starting Camavinga. Deschamps starting Rabio and Conte. <laughs> You know, so like if 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 Didier Deschamps makes those decisions or makes the wrong decisions on the team sheet, Germany will win. Like, of course, like when you go to the national team, you play in the Euros, like there's always some refreshment. There's always some motivation to play. But the fact of the matter is like Chumeni, Kamavinga, Mendy, they just came off of like a, a Champions League win. They're super informed. They've played, you know what I mean? Some virus? Oh, damn. But I, personally, I think I want Germany to win. If it's between France and Germany, I want Germany to win. But I think France probably will win. I'm going to put Germany. Uh, well, I'm not going to do that, but Germany's going to win. That's my prediction, chat. That's my prediction, and... That's all I have to say about that.